Well, it's been maybe just a little bit. I don't know how long, but, you know, just a little bit. All right. It is what it is. Scheme yourself self-explanatory. I actually want to... No, I had an idea for what I was going to do. That was going to be another... No, that's what it was. Uh... Twitch. Hey, Fox. How you doing? Why is my mouse acting up? I, I don't know. All right. It, it's been a while since I touched this mouse. Tired? I feel you. But today has been very interesting. I I don't know. Emote attribution. Cream cheese. <laughs> There's some reverb on that mic. Hold on. Filters. Sounds like I'm in a box. Well, if you think about it, I am in a box. Raptor's gonna play the DLC for that and not watch. Wow, Raptor, you're not gonna watch fucking Hush Hush? Advanced audio properties? Alright, I don't know what any of that does. I don't know why I'd be picking up the internal mic because I have it disabled on my laptop. And my... Oh, Raptor will do both good. Hold on, I think I know which one it is. That one? Does that help? No, I don't both there's no properties. Because uh, the other two microphones, per se, that this has are from the laptop, and... Okay, the laptop does have an input from the mic. No. What the hell is going on? What if I do... No, I can't do that, because then that turns the power off to my mic. What if I... What if I do this? Does that help? Yeah, audio is always fun. No. I can't watch myself. I look too stupid. All right, well, I'm going to delete audio. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with audio. If I can figure out. I use OBS. <laughs> Try muting my... The thing is, I only have two audio sources right now. One is... And so, every day I would play New World on my- One is this audio, and the other is my mic audio. All the other ones are disabled. Well, actually, I shouldn't do this. You know, it's been a while since I've been here. I don't need this. Actually, wait, I technically do. I love all this shit. And... Is it this? Alright, did that help? Hold 
Or am I just gonna straight up just delete my audio and re redo it? I don't mind if I have to redo that. Because some ways it's just easy. Thinking of it. I think if it might be picking up something odd, so I'm muting to see if we can still hear. Raptor, you don't need to understand how mics work, they just do care about weather. Because I literally only have two audios. Hey. Well, I didn't do anything. What is this anyway? What, what, what is this? Why does this exist? How do I delete this? How, how do I, do I just hit the delete button and hope everything works? Or does that delete my whole computer? Completely clear. Okay, does this, did that do anything to help the audio? I know it's weird. But it's taking a different setup. Not really. So in other words, no. Also, this is potato, by the way. Potato's been updated and is too powerful. Sounds the same. That's always good. No, that actually, that's garbage. How do I delete? Properties. No. Is there literally no way I can just delete some of this shit? Hold up. Audio. So you know in OBS, how on the bottom, there's like the audio thingy. I don't remember what it's called and I'm too tired to think about what it's called. Yeah, that, it has like, and I never had this problem before, but it has desktop audio, desktop audio 2. I need to... Well, I need the the two I need are audio input capture and Elgato HD 60 Pro. That's all I need. Everything else can be deleted. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. How do I disable the fucking mic on this piece of shit? Okay, okay, wait, hold up. I remember off the top of my head that my stupid camera has a fucking mic built into it and I like want to go in and just remove it because it is the most useless mic I've ever heard in my entire life. Cancel. So I'm going to disable it for a minute. Scaredy cat? What? It, it's honestly the most useless mic I've ever heard. Like, it is so low quality that it's like, why does it exist? Where's my... Disable. Your camera is either disconnected or in use by another app. It is literally, I just turned it off. I don't want that, I don't want it. How do I disable this? Without blowing everything up. This is what happens when you fucking leave. Deactivate, that's what I wanted. This is what happens when you leave for too long and then you come back and then 
you know. Give me the options for this stupid thing. Yeah, but do I seriously have to reset up my entire camera? Because this is... I just want to play Hush Hush. Activate... Uh, my... I can increase my voice speed. It's good, Fox. I would have never caught this and, and then, you know, it would have gone on for however long it took. His raptor seems to vaguely understand, and I mean that in a respectful way, because the raptor knows but doesn't know anything about technology, kind of thing. Wait, that's what he uh, device manager. Device manager. Uh. Where is sound? HD Pro webcam. Disable device. Same one as got a stop function. Yes. Alright, did that solve any problems? I literally disabled it. I know how to play Cuphead. That's all that that's that's all you really need to know, you know, you just play the game. No, how did not? How did that not solve the problem? How about now? Did that solve any problems? All right, enable. Just roll with it. I'm going to solve those fucking problems. You know what? Fuck it. Google. Logitech. What brand? What, when is this actually? Uh, C920. Disable the fucking mic. Like, fuck it. How to disable Logitech C920 webcam mic. Reddit. That's all I need. Like literally, that is the only fucking thing I need. That that's all I need. Use the camera software on Logitech's website to disable mic. That was three fucking years ago. It's not giving me that option anymore for Logitech Chief um, because apparently I cannot disable this fucking camera. Actually, hold up. Let's Let's try something, all right? Did that solve the issue? Like, literally, did that solve the issue? I fucking knew it. It's not about No, it didn't.
Hold up. Let me let me try this. I'm gonna disable my mic. All right, did that solve any pro- No, that's actually worse. Holy shit. I know, I sound- I sound on the left side. Yeah, I gotta figure this out, but is it somewhat better? Like, is there- It sounds better, so there's no echo, it's just I'm on the left side, not- not in the center. All right, we're making progress. What, I can't use my camera anymore? Dumb piece of garbage. Did I seriously just break the camera entirely or it just doesn't work? You broke it all? No, I broke it all for not streaming for, what, two months or whatever? <gasps> I fixed the camera! There we go, problem solved. Alright, where's... where's the... Where, where's what I'm looking for? There it is. Uh... What am I doing wrong? Property. No, no, filters. Everything is balanced from what I see and from what I know of audio. Hold up. Audio input capture number three. What if I use default? Default. Hold up. What is my default microphone setting? What does Microsoft Store have to do with anything for a microphone? Like, literally, I want to know. I cannot type more of this shit. You piece of trash. Settings. Mic. Set up your mic for speech recognition. Fuck that. Fuck that. Who knows what Cortana would do anyway. I'd probably just mention boob sword and then, you know, go down an entire... Entire, uh... What do you call it? I don't know. Turn off mic acts. No. No. Privacy settings? I, I don't fucking know. Yay, I have I have mic deactivated for Cortana, so Cortana can't listen to me. <laughs> I can make phone calls from my computer? Holy shit. Fox, thanks for having me explore my computer. I can make phone calls from this goddamn computer if I wanted to. So I can call Fox <laughs> Call history? What's my call history? Oh, It's disabled. I don't have a call history. Hey Raptor, what if, what if I just made a phone call from my computer to your phone? What would you do?
Why is my mic being so evil? Like, like, why? I, I just want to stream fucking, uh... And that's how you got my number. Thanks, Ira Leah. When you look at OBS settings, okay. Settings. Audio. Stop at OBS. Be nice. Advanced. Audio. I don't see any problems there, but let me go to file settings. Advanced. Uh, don't tell me I have to change audio. The bar should be in the middle. You know, I should probably actually check to see if OBS has any updates. Check for updates. Okay, good. There's no updates. That's always good. Even though I've been gone for like two fucking months. What, Fox? Life, life has been, uh... I'll be nice. Interesting. I'm trying to look for the bar you're talking about because I do not see the bar. Where's the bar? Video hotkeys. I don't need that actually. Yeah. What if I go to advanced audio properties here? Because all of them that should be in the middle are in the middle. Even though I don't use all of them, but still they all... I don't want to use those. Yeah, Fox, I have those all in the middle. Like the picture you sent. All of mine are, are, uh, in the middle. Because I've never touched those, like, seriously, I have I have no reason, like, the way I, I do life is if I don't need to touch it, I don't, I don't care enough to touch it. For me, all six are checked. Except I have none of them with audio monitor monitoring, so I should probably have that. I wonder if that helps. What did I just do? What did I just do? Fuck, go back quick. I, okay, okay, all all of them are checked. Like literally every single box, even though I need to delete some of the shit. You should have one of the box checked for the audio line. Oh, so this one I just want those right, and then I use which one is it for this? my fucking stream people would be like oh, what no. no Hold on, I'm unchecking like literally everything. 
that is not necessary because fuck it all. All right, everything that should be be checked is checked. So track one is this microphone, right? Actually, I have an idea. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Stick with me. Properties. Does this sound better? I hope it does. Because I'm about to throw this whole setup out the window. Yes. All right. We don't touch it. All right. Except I'm going to touch it. Watch this. All right, is is anything fucked up now? Because the way I have my mic set up is where it's both connected onto my laptop. Fuck. Boy, you can hear you. Holy shit. All right, so it is there a loop? Because what it, what is happening right now is is the mic is connected to both my computers. So if I need to, I can play play Foxhole and have push to talk. The loop is back. Hold on, I think I know the problem. I I, I think I know the problem. Settings mic. Fuck it, I'll deal with it later, I'm tired. Time to play video games, I'm done. I don't care. We're playing Hush Hush. Alright. After we do Crush Crush. And it's all true, because it rhymes. I'm not clicking play on it yet, alright? And the loop shouldn't be back, right? The Lo loop's good. It, it got deleted. Or you didn't delete it. Claim. Why is my mouse like so? It feels so weird. All right, where's the pin up? Actually, wait. You don't hear it. Good. That is very good. I I need to make sure that I have everything set up properly, or else I'm gonna get banned. Even though I want to get fucking banned. Okay, I want to get suspended. All right, because. You know, everyone's like, oh, you get suspended, you know, you get double the view count, and this, that, and the other, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hell yeah. Double the viewers, double the everything. It seems like everything is safe for work right now. Let me... Hydrate. Hold on, Raptor. Fucking Mio. Whoa, okay. Wow. That would get me banned. <laughs> what? No, Raptor, the thing I just got, I can't even show it because look, it doesn't even exist. It's supposed to be. Right here. It's supposed to be right here and it's not there. It gets deleted when you turn off when you when you turn off adult mode. God damn it. That fucking sucks. Oh yeah, also I need to prove that I have five hundred plus hours in Crush Crush because no one will believe me, alright? Five hundred and twenty one point two hours. BRB. That's fair enough, Fox. The Raptor, just for you. All right, can I get some food? Damn. Ow. I'm grabbing my truck keys to do this. 
And yes, I'm using I'm using keys to open up the fucking can, alright? Because I don't have nails right now. Holy shit, that actually worked. We're gonna play some Geshen. I want to, but fuck. I'm what, like three three uh patches behind? Oh yeah, have you seen uh six point two for FFXIV? Holy shit. I feel so far behind in it. In World of Warcraft? I, like, the thing is, I want to play World of Warcraft, right? But I don't want to, because I'm like, oh my god, it's probably gonna be the same shit in, in 10 point whatever we're gonna be at, you know? It's probably gonna be the same shit, I'm gonna be complaining about the same shit, and then, you know, it's gonna be like, oh my god, just go find a good game then. But there is no good game. Well, oh, Fox, have you heard of uh, Tower of Fantasy? Holy shit. Raptor, you need to you need to listen to me for Tower of Fantasy after I take a quick sip, alright? Alright, Raptor. Tower of Fantasy is like Geshen Impact, right? But you actually get to design your own character. So what you could do Raptor is you could take Leah, Sayori, Yan Fei, Klee, Chi Chi, who else? Who else? Honey, and uh, I feel like there's one more that I'm forgetting. Either way, Raptor, you could take all of them and combine them into one if you really wanted to. Does Geshen even have an update for me? That's interesting. I want to play Raptor, but here's the problem it's paid a fucking win. Oh, yeah, no. Love me. Which means it's gonna do it. I was an inch away from a goal. Wow, Raptor. Really? Alright, Raptor, I'll let you... I wanna play Hush Hush because I've been dying to play that game ever since I touched the demo. Demos? Demos? Horrible shit over? Because that's the best way to sell the fucking game. And I'm not even kidding you. I don't know what MS Chalice is. Free? No, I'm gonna miss you, baby. No! I actually want her. But here's the problem. Creator program. Hold up. The fuck is the creator program? The new playable character. Wow. Genshin Impact creator program on Twitch version. Th fuck. I want to do that. But I won't. The thing is, I won't be able to fucking do it. Alright, what was the thing I was going to do before I fucking forget? Viewer rewards, channel points, um, manage rewards and challenges. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you potato, you potato. You laugh, you lose. I need to go buy a new Twix for it, alright? Can I tell you buy one and fucking eat it? Because I'm like, mmm, it looks delicious. I fucking know I know I need it for a fucking weekend because I need to know it on a Friday or Saturday. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do it then and no, I couldn't fucking eat it. Why? In some ways, I don't care. The, the, the light looks sh like shit. Alright, Raptor. You remember that? Yes, I need to do it actually. Review request queues. Markers complete. Alright, you can have your cream cheese. You can have your hydrate. I've already done it actually, and you have your scam yourself. Posture check and hydrate. I'll 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 refund to this guy because he wanted to do follow for follow and then unfortunately I, I don't believe in that. And I won't do it. I won't fucking do it. Alright. Well, what was it? There was a thing I was gonna do.
What what was it? What it was a thing I was gonna create. Oh shit, man! Raptor, what was it that I was thinking of? It was yesterday I was thinking of it, and then I was gonna go stream, and then uh, I ate too much food and felt like shit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> felt like shit, and then and then I went to bed, <laughs> and then I woke up fine. <laughs> And that, that was this morning. I felt fine this morning. It had to do with something about potatoes. God damn it. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't care anymore. God damn it, I, I even got- I even just stopped ranting about fucking pay to win and how much I don't like it, but it's the world we live in right now, you know? Oh yeah, and Raptor, if you see behind me on the TV screen, that's mod view, alright? So if I need to ban someone, all I need to do is just turn around and fucking ban them, you know? <laughs> All right, we're 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 playing the game. All right, here I'll I'll pre-install it. Even though I'm probably gonna miss Yomi Nima again, I'm gonna be mad because it's because I didn't play the fucking game. You know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like this one day. You know. No. It, it that's what I felt like for a long time. I'd play Genshin Impact every day and I'd feel like no one watches because I play the same shit every day. <laughs> and no one cares because they don't give me the resources. <laughs> And because they don't give me their they don't give me their resources, I do not complete the game. And then I don't get Yomiya, I don't get Kali, I don't get any of the shit, and then everyone goes, all he does is complain. I downgraded his setup. That sounds like a great video I wanna watch. <laughs> oh yeah raptor my reacts playlist keeps getting longer and longer what do you mean you can't hear asmon like you you legit cannot hear asmon how is this possible Filters, limiter, L lim limiter. We can't hear anything from the computer. Ho hold up, all right. Hold up a second, all right. Hold up. Good thing I didn't start playing the fucking hush hush because it's voice fully voice acted. And I'm not playing that without the voice acting because, oh my god, it's actually good voice acting. Rapper, let me know if you can hear it. Did you hear it, Rapper? Did you hear Asmon smashing his head? Not yet. You s no, what do you mean not yet? It's yes or no, not a not yet. All right, all right, all right. What do you mean no? Why did audio have to fucking crash? 
Like, the thing is, I hear the audio, but you guys don't. This is fucking mad. What what is this witchcraft? Like what is happening? Like this is pissing me off. <laughs> now I have to go back into my settings again. Because no one can hear Asmon. Alright. Settings. Multi dis fuck you. Displays. Fucking piece of trash. Extend or you look at or extend? Yeah, duplicate. Audio sound mixer options. Output. I feel like multiplayer cuphead makes makes bosses have more health. It would make sense. You're gonna do research. That's illegal. I'm gonna ban you from doing that. What? Everything is fucking set up. All right, rapper. Let me know if you hear Asmon bald. All right. Raptor, did, did you hear any of Asmon rambling? It's just double to L Y K. Whenever you do, whenever you, whenever you do play Cuphead, you, you guys should know I can't read at this point. All right, so I need like text to speech. You still fucking can't. Look, I don't care. Just restart. In some ways, I cannot wait to get the data run because everyone will be on the one system, and that will be so good. No signal on my ass, bro. It better fucking play. Do the do the sound. Do you hear the sound, Raptor? Did you hear the PlayStation 1 sound startup that I put onto my computer? Because it sounds cool, alright? Did you hear the sound? Please say yes. Alright, no one look at my password. Oh no! What shall I ever do? Everyone can see my fucking desktop. Rap, 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 did you hear any sound? Is it fixed? Are we good? Can we, can we fucking stream now? You, 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 
properties. Am I literally going to have to string on my computer? Uh, did you talk? Did you hear how he's gonna hold stream hostage? I hope he did because I'm going to strangle my my setup. Oh wait. Be no react. Do you hear it now? Until I receive my share of twenty thousand gold. Secure a video. I don't so know what I'm exactly gonna... I'm gonna call this video or where I'm gonna go with it. Every day I would play New World on my fucking stream. No, waiting no. What is going on? People would be like, How about now? Oh, what? No! It's like they were giving me resources. Wait, this doesn't make any fucking sense! Dude, okay, Raptor, here's, here's how it's set up, alright? Paint. You fucking piece of shit. Here's how, here's, here's, like, here's what I see, alright? I see. Oh wait, the stream is delayed for me. Hold up. Fuck. Well, here's what I see. I see Mike. Right. This. I see. That's number one. All right. That's number one. Number two. H D sixty Pro. Which is was supposed to be this fucking laptop right here that I'm on, right? Number three. Video. Capture. Device. This is what is connecting with the audio. I do not understand. Because this, the HD60 Pro, is what is actually, like, taking the video feed. But it, for some reason, it, it's wanting to go video capture device. What is this garbage? Don't save. So you, you can definitely hear fucking Asmon doing Asmon smash, right? Like, you can hear his face smacking the desk. Fuck. Like, you heard that loud and clear, right? Yes, alright, I've wasted a fucking hour. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Crush Crush or Hush Hush for the remainder of the fucking stream. Alright? I've wasted an entire hour on audio. Okay, I wasted probably 20 minutes just sitting here going, alright, what to do? Cool, Sherlock Holmes. I'm not really interested. Oh yeah, Raptor, should I should I bring back Foxhole? Should I play Foxhole at some point in my life again? I think I should. Let me know if you hear Mio. Won't you play with me? Oh, yeah, some point. Bro, I'm saying I could bring Foxhole back this week, alright? Like after I do after I after I do uh Are we in are we safe? Uncensored mode, okay, we're, we're safe. So I go to honey. And not get banned. There you go, there you go, Raptor. All right, you're getting this one today, okay? You're getting this one today, all right? 
All right. You're getting this version of honey. There you go, Raptor. That, that's it, Raptor. No more. Because we're playing Hush Hush because I've been waiting to play all fucking day. Like, seriously, I have. Like, at lunch, I was checking it, like, every five minutes to see if I if it cool fucking soil. And it didn't. And then the one o'clock came when I... With the sad panel of Sirius and Mark Henry when they release it, and it didn't come out. So I had to wait until I got home. And then that's when I got it. And now we're here. Alright, I need to go to settings real quick because, uh. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Damn. You know what, Raptor, you know what I have to do now? I have to quit game, right? I have to go to fucking properties to d disable the fu fuck. To disable the fucking uh, DLC, because one of them I cannot fucking have, because it's going to get me banned. But you want to get banned? You, you don't want to get banned? <laughs> it's the 18 it's the plus DLC, alright? All the bands? Yes, I want to get banned. Continue below spoilers. All right, wait, wait, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, we have to read the disclaimer. Thanks for picking up Hush Hush. We really hope you enjoy the story. We have poured so much love, sweat, and tears into making. The story is full of branching paths, so below you will find all the content warnings explained. We want to make sure that everyone is well informed of the story and has fun and safe experience. This game is this. This is the game's disclaimer for content warnings. Heads up though, this will be this will 100% contain, contain spoilers. Continue reading below if you're okay with that. Fuck. Here's the thing, I hate spoilers, but at the same time, look what fucking DDLC did to me. I was I, I was playing it and then Sayori goes into her her stage, right? Like and does all of her shit. And then I fucking break down. I fucking quit DDLC and I go I go straight to fucking Call of Duty for like 20 minutes and then I'm like, bro, I cannot handle this. I need to know what happens next. And then I find out what happens next. I'm like, damn. Can't believe it. So they like here's the thing about this game. I do not expect this to be DDLC, but I expect that I might fucking cry from this. Because this game has taken four years to develop. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but basically it took four fucking years to develop. So the, there's gonna be some deep fucking shit in this game. Depictions of death. What? No, there's a- they died in the TV scene? Okay, that- Fuck. I cannot believe it, they all die in the- they die in a TV scene. Oh my god! I just ruined everything for myself. Where would be- where would be the best place to have the camera for this, actually? Because I played the demo and all four of the- all four of the corners are used. What is up here? I, I want that on stream because people will see that. Or people will see this too. But I also want people to see all this, so... Oh, uh, wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. I think this could probably be the best because... Okay. People will probably be like, how much money do you have in the game? I'll be like... I have just enough, alright? Most people end up doing chroma key background. I would, but because of where this monitor is and the way I use it, that's that's really difficult. <laughs> because I like mod view behind me so that people can see me banning them. Cause I, I think that's actually kinda funny. 
Like, it, I don't know. But I also need to do, like, I, I need to find, aren't there cameras that, like, do the chroma key on their own? And you don't need the background? They just delete the background? And it's like, oh, there you go. Because if so, I kind of want one of those cameras, but I don't, and I don't want to be spending, like, $5,000 on these cameras, because I know some of these cameras, <laughs> they have a pretty big price tag. But their features, though, and quality are, they just seem fucking great. Anyway, I should probably do this and see how everyone fucking dies. Because I, I, I just keep spoiling the game because I clicked on the achievements to see what, what are all the 31 achievements. One of them is speedrun the game, which is literally lose the game in the fastest way possible, which probably means you just... You just lose the game on, on day fucking one, which I don't think is possible because playing the, the demo, which yes, I know it's a demo, it's not the full release, you only meet one of the girls out of the five you need to meet in the game. And out of the, you, like, from what I know of the game, you don't want any of the five to die if you want to get the good ending. But enough, I need to do enough bullshit. It, it's the beginning of summer when you receive the, the, the letter. Your hometown is so cold and wet despite it being the verge of summer, which is why perhaps it catches your eye. Was the demo the one where we caught a woman in the bear trap? No, that's cabin fever. <laughs> and that that girl is, uh, her name is Mallory. Alright, that, that's a different game. And yes, that, that game is actually done by the exact same devs who do the, this game and Crush Crush. Because it's sad being a studios and I'm kind of like, fuck it, I should just play it because it's probably actually a good game too, even though I'm really thinking the worst person fucking exists. Anyway. But I, I do need to go and complete that game too. What's the other game I want to do? I think it was Love Esquire or whatever. What are you saying? Nothing. Alright, not, not, I'm not saying anything. Alright. I can't understand when you do that. I'm not saying anything, Fox, alright? I'm not talking about any of the other games that I'll be playing on this channel that most likely will get me banned or not. For any particular reason. Of course, you know. Did I? Yeah, I read this. You have won a free vacation, the, the novel, no, novel, novelty? I'm assuming that's what that says. Look, I'm not the best English, all right? And I took Latin in high school, and I'm not good at that either, all right? I don't really remember shit from high school for Latin. Anyway, envelope says, which is blue ocean and covered with pictures of sand, sun, and pretty people on the on a beach. All right, when we talk about pretty people, we're primarily meaning females. If not, understandable. Have a great day. On any other day, you would have thrown the letter away. I like how the, the word letter is capitalized. Oh yeah, and by the way, guys, there was literally an update before I clicked the, the play button like 20 minutes ago for this game. So there, this game literally had an update in the middle of stream. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's another update by the end of stream. Likely after making a joke about IRL spam mail. But the dreary weather is weighing on you and for a moment, the fantasy of a, a getaway vacation somewhere warm calls to you. You can almost hear water rising around you, tranquil and blue as the waves beckon you to cast aside your clothes and run along laughing into the surf. And I just read that on stream, so... Hi Twitch, how you doing? So you decided to open it after all, what's the harm of opening an envelope? Uh, there's probably a few movies I haven't seen where if you open the envelope, something fucking happens. So I won't say anything, alright? They need to see a bunch of movies. 
You're surprised to see that it's not only your full name on the letter, but the paperwork looks legit. There's a voucher for a plane ticket instruction on where to find the keys for your house rental. Finally, what happened Raptor? Did you beat the level or are you excited that it's actually a non like spam IRL mail? After reading over the letter six or seven times, you can't help but conclude it's genuine. You want a vacation. I did read it eight times. I defeated the boss and got a B. After you didn't get an A? Man, you didn't get an A. Oh my god. Raptor, no, you're supposed to get an A. Because you're you're supposed to be one of the best esports players in the world, man. That took way too long. Wait, 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 wait. What took way too long? My reaction or or uh you destroying the boss and getting a B and me getting hydrated. The boss, I, I see everything. But I'm, I'm still glad that you're excited for Balls Raptor. To a, a resort town on the west coast called Cer Cerbero. Subros. We're gonna call it Cerberos. Even though that's probably not even how it's remotely even pronounced. Been playing Cuphead for a while and only defeated two bosses so far. That sounds like that sounds like me after like a month of playing the game. Lawyer describes Cerberus as a perfect vacation spot. There are shops, world class wineries, bakeries, and cafes, and gorgeous beaches that stretch for miles. I think there's a word missing here, and then a comma. You know, I think that that's just me. All right. Inside, you find more photos of beautiful. Men, no homo, okay? Just gotta be real, no homo, alright? And woman playing in the sand, sharing a romantic glass of wine, kissing in the moonlight. Still, no homo. With the sound of surf in the in the back of your mind, you arrange your vacation time and immediately start to look forward to the summer. Hell yeah. The days pass slowly, July can't come fast enough. It's it's almost uh September, right? Yes, yeah, September. I don't know. On the night before your flight, eat with everything packed and ready to go. You set several arms, make sure you wake up on time. There's no way you're missing this. Hell yeah, brother. At first, you have no idea how you're going to even sleep. Your excitement is only growing as you settle in for the night. It's been a year and a week since I followed. Damn it, we missed your your follow birthday. Fuck. God damn it. Well, I don't know what to do. But sleep comes quickly and with it. Oh yeah, this scene. I remember this scene. Twitch won't, Twitch won't care. Alright? I know what happens here. The dream. You beca become aware of the sound of water. Everything is dark, you feel weightless, floating freely in space with no real sense of up or down. You feel no urge to breathe, the water is neither hot or cold. No, this is slightly different actually than the demo. But I th I'm positive I know what's coming up because I love demos, am I right? After a few moments, a great current begins to push you. Where you, you open your eyes and see a great light ahead where the water is leading you. You break the, the surface of the water and see ruins, strange ancient structures bathed in sunlight. You are aware that you you are aware you are dreaming, but it feels so vivid and real that you can't help but feel strangely vulnerable. A voice calls out. Let me guess, it's uh, I think it's Cupidy's the first one to call out. Yes, that's Cupidy. We have been waiting for you. No, wait, that's the door. I forget who's who. I forget Cupid's voice and Dark One voice because Newsflash, they're both dead in Crush Crush in my current playthrough. We wade towards the ruins. Under your feet, the rocks are smooth, but as though set by hand. When you reach the shore, you hear the voices again. Alright, look. 
I'm just dreaming, guys. It's nothing that you think, all right? Come to us. They speak so quietly, like, wow. You climb up a stony slope and find an open area, almost like a Roman amphitheater. Hell yeah. That's when you see them. QPD and the Dark One, because they're cool. <laughs> Two beautiful women, one dazzling and bright, the other dark and mysterious. Both of them have wings and a flower set in their hair like a tiara. The one dazzling light reaches her hand out to you and smiles. Welcome, Chosen One. We are so very happy to meet you at last. Cupid, how you doing, girl? I am Cupernicus, the goddess of light. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, Cupernicus. I know you as Cupid from Crush Crush, right? I'm Thelema, goddess of shadows. No, you're the dark one. Look, Fox, it's it's totally fine, all right. Twitch Twitch totally cares, all right. I've seen YouTubers with probably mommy milkers as big if not bigger and twitch doesn't care <laughs> we have brought you here because we have a matter of grave urgency we need your help with hell yeah i already know part of this you received and accepted an invitation to sub rosa exactly where we need you i said it wrong the whole time sub rosa god dang it raptor why didn't you correct me you see, without your help, there are five girls that are doomed to perish. But what can I do? Shouldn't they go to the police or something? Hell yeah, they should. I'm kidding. I gotta say, I'm liking where this is going. That's something I would probably say. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes! I knew you were the one for this quest! <laughs> She's bluffing. I can't help myself. She's bluffing, alright? I gotta say, I like the way they're looking at us. I think maybe you were right, Copernicus. Ah. Uh -huh. Here is the task. Here's the task, alright. Can someone write that in the task for me? Because I'm not gonna remember and I'm gonna have to play this game tomorrow too because I know this game's gonna go on forever. Each of the five girls you must save are living in Sabrosa. And each of them are concealing secrets that will prove fatal if not brought to light. Well, they could be hiding them from their families, their friends, or even themselves. Secrets are funny like that. I didn't know they were actually. I didn't know they were funny like that. You must find each of these five destined girls. You must gain their trust and friendship, and maybe even their hearts, so that they will open to you. Maybe a little more, if you ask me. QPD opens her hand, revealing a, a the bud of a rose, which blooms and opens in her hand. Cuphead's hard man. Raptor, you're supposed to make it look easy, zero depths, all right? Just like this game, I'm going to make this game look easy, zero depths. Only once you know their secrets can you hope to save them. I already did, I already saved them, all right? I saved Sari, I saved Yuri, and I saved Natsuki. But Monica, she was already saved, man, because she's too, too uh, sentient. If they don't trust you, they won't tell you. Do whatever you can to gain their trust, admiration, affection, lust, whatever works. Why not all the above? I would, but there aren't any viewers. Well, Raptor, why don't why don't you, like I don't know, just. Live stream it to your school. I'm sure everyone, everyone will watch. You want me to flirt with five girls? That sounds easier said than done if you ask me. How will I know which of the five girls? This is freaking awesome. My quest to hit on <laughs> Best quest ever. <laughs> That's me. Uh, yes, quite right. See, she fucking knew it too. Like, she always honestly knows it. Warning. All the girls are mega hot. So yeah, get excited. She's bluffing again. I can't. I can't. We gotta go. And while you are working to rescue them, you may be presented with situations that require difficult choices. Like telling Raptor to let go of honey? I implore you to follow your heart. 
and stay in the path of the light at nearly any cost. But of course, not the cost of their lives. Oh. If you have to lie, cheat, steal, or inflict a little violence, that's just the way it is. It is? Oh, come on. But your quest can be done with the hero's way. All right, Raptor, I need your help, all right? Do I implore a little evil into my life in this game, or do I just stay a holy true paladin? Sure, but if you get stuck between a rock and a hard place... Which is what I feel like is happening to me right now in my life. Well, who's judging you? <sighs> Fuck. We're judging them. Yes, but only to prove something to each other. Yeah, you know, who has the bigger rack? Whatever their choices are, the lives of the five destined are your only concern. No. But try to be heroic. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Do you understand all we have said? <laughs> Do you accept your quest? I mean, I've already technically clicked accept on the terms and conditions by opening it the game up, so yeah. What do you say? Yay or nay? Yeah, as in best quest ever. <laughs> I'm deeply pleased at your zeal. Hell yeah. Mm, I'm not really one for enthusiasm, but okay, sure. Yay. Yay. Travel to Sabrosa. Find the destined five girls and discover the secrets which are imperiling their lives. I'm sure Raptor knows all the, the secrets that they're, they're hiding. And, spoiler warning, if you pull off this quest, we have a special reward for you. I forget. Should I, should I censor stream? Or am I fine? I'll let you decide, Raptor. Do I censor the stream right now, or do I not care and just click on ahead and see what happens? Because I, re I remember what happens next. Because n most of what I just saw hasn't really changed. Which is fine, you know, I don't expect shit to change. Oh, I was going to say, did April die? Perhaps. Hey, Paul, we need a yes or no, not perhaps. All right, we need something that's like a yes answer or a no answer, hey, Paul. We can't have a perhaps. Perhaps fucking sucks ass. ID Kev, K Kona, bro. Yesterday opened a yes, but today it's a yep. All right, we're going on. <laughs> oh. I guess we got lucky, alright? Like, we, we totally got lucky, alright? I'm, I'm so glad I turned it off. The DLC. Maybe I'll look at it later. Not saying anything. Shit, I didn't read the last one. Neoma turns to Cuper Cuperty and hugs her in a tight embrace, which causes Cuperty to blush and giggle shyly. Neoma places faces Cupid and kisses her once softly, and then she turns to you and smiles. Homo? Please don't let us down. Raptor's like, yeah, sure. We we definitely know CJ. Go fuck yourself, CJ. Look, I know, alright, I'll do that. Thelima, I'm not sure if this was necessary. They seemed perfectly motivated. So the more motivation, the better, am I right? Shh, you're cute when you're being all prophetic and quest-giving. <laughs> <laughs> Thelima? Thelima, fuck, I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. Two of them begin to, to kiss your vision suddenly goes hazy. You awaken suddenly, your, your alarms are all going off. All of them. How are all of them going off? Unless they were all set within like seconds of each other. You leave your house in a bit of a chaotic mess and rush to the airport. Good, so I don't brush my t my uh, hair, don't brush my teeth, I don't take a piss, nor a shit. I 
and I'm probably putting on my shoes while I'm in the car driving. And I'm making sure that like the all the, the doors and whatnot are open in my truck because it's actually a, a, a truck, not a car. Because you know, a 22 year old in a truck, what more do you need? It isn't until you're on the plane that you finally have a moment to reflect on the dream. Do I have a hairbrush at least uh, on the plane? Because I could make my hair look a little better. Yeah, fuck it, just throw a hat on. I don't need to worry about it. Was it real or are, are there really five girls in danger? Not for long. One way or another, you're determined to find out. At the airport, you're given a rental car like everything else. Sorry, paid for. Raptor? Was it you that did it, or are you going to pass this blame on to Fox for everything being paid for in advance? The reason why I'm, I'm asking you after is because you're stream manager, all right? You have a pretty high role. As you drive into town, you pass the sign that says, Welcome to Sarosa, the Coastal Bloom. It's extremely early when you arrive at, the, at where you're staying, a beautiful two-story house in a quiet neighborhood. A two-story house? What is a 22-year-old and a, a, a rental truck going to do in a two-story house? You drop your things and decide to start exploring town. Maybe at the beach first. Duh. Go to the beach first. Before you begin your adventure, though, so would you like a tutorial on how to play Hush Hush? Well, I'm going to say yes, just in case there's a thing or two that's been added to the game, alright? You'll be given different options on what to say or do. If you pick a good option, you'll be awarded heart points. This is a great sign that you're making progress. Good. Some options, however, will be locked behind requirements. Sometimes this means you need better stats or more money in order to choose them. So far, the same. The cool thing, though, is that if you use a stat to pick an option, that skill will go up. Every day, you'll be given two chances to work on your stats or earn money at a job. This happens at dawn and dusk. Also, yep. pay attention here. Your stats and jobs are split into two different types, light karma and dark karma. That's legal, Raptor. Light karma jobs and skills are virtuous, exemplary, and at least legal. <laughs> Dark karma jobs and stats are not those things. They involve shady or illegal things, but they pay more. Sounds like something that's gonna be fun. that involves using one of your dark karma stats, you should know that those will award you dark karma points. However, light karma points are much, much rarer, and they may not involve light karma stats at all. You must truly quest for the most heroic and good choices to earn them. Easy. What do light and dark karma points do? Mostly affect the ending of the story, so choose wisely. Here's an example of the kinds of choices you'll find in Hush Hush. This response has no requirements, so you can pick it at no problem. Uh oh, this one seems to require violence tendencies. <laughs> This one costs money, which you don't have, so you can't pick it. Hey, you got heart points. Nice. But remember, you also got dark karma. To find the right people to talk to, check out your map. Any locations you see mean that there's something to do there. That's called an event. And the purple ones I should always do. Events that are highlighted in gold will advance the time of day, and the ones highlighted in purple will not. Easy. So consider doing purple ones first. See, this game is easy, zero doubts. You'll often get invited to events through your phone. Characters will text you and ask you out, or tell you where they're hanging out. It's up to you to decide which events to accept or ignore. Just be careful, though. Except all of them. An invite and don't show, the person you stand up will be mega hurt or insulted, naturally. Oh. You'll be able to tell how each of the destined girls are doing by checking out the contacts tab. Each girl's mood and affection are affected by the heart points you earn while talking to them. If a girl's mood drops too low, she may fall victim to an unfortunate accident. 
make sure to manage your schedule, don't double book any dates at the same time, and pick the best options for every person you speak to. Some girls may want you to be sweet, and some may want you to be sassy. Easy. Some may not appreciate you being flirty at all. Oh. All in all, you gotta do your best guesses, try different strategies, and have fun. If you have to start from the beginning, then that's okay. Oh, I'll be going to the beginning to many times Will in this game. To be more friend than 31 lover. achievements, I'm gonna get all of them. Cheat and steal to win. The choices are up to you. In a moment, you'll be shown the map. There's only one event to choose from, so pick it and begin your adventure in Sub Rosa. Sub Rosa. Best of luck! And if you need hints on the best way to learn each of the girls' deepest secrets, visit the location marked Hints on your map. Mystic will help you there for a price. On with the show. All right, let's do this. Going back in your your car. I'm taking the truck. Screw all that. Can you take a moment to look at your map for the best way to the beach. Just drive through the houses. Easy. July one morning. Beach. Here we go. Your roll. I'm gonna meet Eero, I know that. As you arrive at the beach, you see tons of people uh, playing, I was about to say slaying. That would be very interesting to see at the beach. Stunning and swimming. It's crowded, but everyone is laughing and having a great time. Just as you are stepping onto the sand, a pretty stranger with rainbow hair comes running up to you, chasing a frisbee. Ah! Oh, it's just not fair! Curse you adorable little flying disc! Turning against me! I shall have my revenge! Ellie, if I recall correctly, from Blush Blush. Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you as I was flailing around, trying to snatch this little beauty from the skies. Ah, oh, how unfortunate. We almost bumped into each other. That could have been awkward and interesting. Ah, <laughs> oh, just my luck. First I miss a catch, and then I almost miss a catch. Well, don't just stand there looking scrumptious. Say something flirty. I want to, but oh my fucking god. Uh, hey, I really like your rainbow hair. That's my icebreaker. Alright, I, I could work. I think your flailing was really nice. All, the, all things considered, was that frisbee fired out of a cannon? Whoa! That one sounds rough. Let's go with it, though. Yes, in a sense, my sister has biceps to die for, and will be positively tickled to hear them described as cannons. Holy crap. Like, seriously? Yoo-hoo! Eero! Come over here! This little beach bunny is saying nice things about your physique, and I want to live vicariously through you. Oh. Gosh, Eli. You're so lazy today, even for you. I'm not sure you and I have the same idea of what go long means, but it means you need to run. Hold up. I forgot Eero looks so hot. Darling, I'm garbage without a pair of heels, and I can guarantee that I have a much different meaning for the phrase go long. I forgot Ellie is like this. Or that. Yeah, I forget. Uh my favorite part of going to the beach. The part where Eli talks about penises. Speaking of polite conversation, <laughs> who's this? <laughs> I still remember that in the demo. <laughs> I don't remember that in the demo at all. <laughs> this is a completely different game now. My dear sister, this sweet little sour key has mistaken me for the beautiful maiden that I am, which means I have won the bet. The dress looks better on me. I win. Yes, Fox. All right, look. Eli is from Blush Flush, which is another game by Sad Panda Studios, right? And if you've seen anything that I've done in Crush Crush, you could probably assume that Blush Flush is crush crush but all male characters instead of all female characters like it crush 
and the they made the lore very interesting i will say for every character in crush crush there's a sibling in blush blush for that character which I, I already know because I played the demo and find out that these two are siblings. And well, they're obviously siblings here too. Are you serious? We've only been here nine minutes. Nine minutes? I've been here for almost two hours and I haven't done shit. Oh, the truth hurts. And your tears are like the sweet brine of a victory at sea. Pay up. I want to buy something utterly useless and inappropriate. <laughs> Stupid sexy Eli. I wouldn't say that about a sibling, but okay. Wonderbar! Alright, I'll be back shortly. The two of you should chat though. You have so much in common now. <laughs> Ta-ta! Goodbye. Mm. I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Eli already has to help me with my makeup and hair. Now it's going to be my wardrobe, too. Which is very interesting, you know? Alright, well, she did look pretty good in that dress, though. I would hazard the bikini looks better on you. The he... No! And the camera is in a worse spot here, too, because now no one can see all the options. Where... I just need to delete... I, do I need to delete the camera? How about I try... No, because then that'll block some of the characters. How about... No, because that, that's even worse. Fuck okay, it, you guys are not seeing the skills. Alright? Unless that's gonna get... Fuck it, I'm leaving it here. No one can, can change me. I'm not sure what just happened, but I don't suppose you have her number. Well, I think you have a really nice wardrobe. Like that bikini and that frisbee. Okay, we're not going to be weird, alright? But I don't think we're getting out of anything weird in this setup, alright? We're gonna go to the bottom one, fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, this frisbee is all me, for sure. It is what it is. Picked it out myself. Thought it went well with my motorcycle. That's right, you're, you're the motorcycle girl. The name's Zero, by the way. And the magic space princess that ran off with my money is Eli. <laughs> As you can tell, we've got a thing for rainbows. And don't even get us started on ponies. No, really. We get real awkward real fast. Not judging, all right? I'm just here playing the game. I'd say judging from the lack of tan lines, you're probably from out of town. Lack of tan lines. Don't get me started, alright? Yeah, I'm here for a month hoping to see the sights. If you happen to know a good look local guide with rainbow hair and ridiculously toned arms. I need to stop reading. I'm, I'm gonna get banned. Yeah, I heard this place was packed with hotties. Looks like I heard right. Sort of. I'm looking for some... I don't even know what r, r is, but... Hey. But while I'm here, I could really use a, a spotter. And a... 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 A compass? I don't know. For jogging, surfing, etc. We're going with the top one. <laughs> Nicely done. I see that you're aware of the shortest route to a girl's heart is through her ridiculously toned arms. I got some stars out of that. That's not bad. Let's go. Well, you seem like a normal person with normal intentions. And given some of the locals I know, normal is a pretty endearing trait. <laughs> well. Well, I'm going to hang ten for a bit. The tide is calling for me. No, seriously, look. Can you see? It's waving. But I'm... Ah, uh, the, the jokes, they're so good though, that's the thing. Oh man, I'm so funny. Anyway, nice chatting. Maybe I'll see you around. Oh, you will. Uh... Hello! I'm back! Back 
Actually, I never left. I was spying on you guys from over there. Sounds usual. I was hoping you'd make a nice impression on my lovely sister. You see, she is part orangutan and does not know how to socialize. Sounds like someone else. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. Her friends and I are always trying to help hook her up. Ah, oh, alas, orangutan. And she's such a cutie, too. I wish I had inherited the same butt genes she has. <coughs> but maybe I'm off the mark here. You've got this look about you. What is this look, even? I have no idea why, but I'm going to completely 100% trust you. I would like to date her. What do I do? You talk about straightforward. I can't really explain it, but I need to get to know Iro. I need to get close to her. Easier said than none. Actually, I was sort of hoping to get both of them. <laughs> I don't want to click that option so much. We're gonna go with the top one though. That's the spirit. Complete an utter admission of your helplessness, followed by putting your full trust into Eli. <gasps> Such wisdom. Oh God, what have I done? The trick with Eero is that she's super off the market right now. She's been practically a nun for the last nine months. Her last breakup was ugly. The blep. We're moving on. So the only way to spike that football is to take it to the end zone. And by end zone, I mean friend zone. Oh, I just made a little sports analogy. Eero would be so proud of me. Yeah, but pre Eero would also probably be like, man. But yes, you should be thinking less tight pants and more pajama bottoms. Be a friendly friend. Get to know her while avoiding anything sexual. That's that's really difficult, actually. This honestly sounds like kind of a nightmare, but you can do it. I hope I can. So unless you've got mad game and you can prove me wrong, I would suggest trying to keep your eyes off her ridiculously supple cleavage for a few outings, and she's likely to relax her guard. How do I do that? Think you can handle that? No, I need help. How do I do? It? Hold up, to, what? Was this? I have the DLC turned off. I'll be fine. I'm totally fine. I knew it. I'm totally 100% fine, guys. During distant stream, you look over just in time to see Euro flailing wildly on her surfboard, just barely ahead of an enormous wave. She regains her footing for a moment, but before the wave crashes down on her, sending her careening into the water. <laughs> GG, everyone. She emerges from the surf, holding her side and laughing hysterically. You notice immediately that her uh, is missing, and you notice several times more. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I got stuffed in the barrel hard back there! Hey, what's wrong? You two look like you've seen a ghost. Because we have. Of a sort, my dear. More like the icy pale of flesh that hasn't seen the sun in years. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I guess the girls could use a little more tanning. People are generally a bit uptight when you surf naked, though. What have I walked into? Anyway, oh, hey, you're blank. I didn't even notice it because I was looking at your, uh, boba. Yeah, weird. I get the same thing everywhere I go. I mow my- <laughs> I suddenly imagining a shark somewhere finally catching the chest support she's always needed. We're gonna go with mowing the lawn because that one is probably the best option. Does in the privacy of their front yard is their business, I always say. Hell yeah. Oh dear, I've hurt my ears. Naked lawn mowing. I don't need another fetish. What have I started? Let's hit the road, Eli. That bikini is lost at sea. And I've flashed enough strangers today. No, you haven't. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. At least if we get pulled over, the chances of escaping a ticket are hella good right now. So Eli's gonna be speeding, got nice it. Chatting with you. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. This isn't over. Correct. It's over 9,000. Alright, it's the afternoon. Finally, we get it. Oh my god. Do I go? 
Do I go to the mall or do I go to the bakery? But first, we're going to the cafe. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. I love Lotus, by the way. She's so fucking cool. I never forget a face, and I don't think we've met. So you must be visiting or new to town. Welcome. My name is Lotus. My brother, Dimitri, and I run the Queen Bean. We like to tell people that we're the best coffee place in town, because it's true! And I wouldn't be surprised if they're the only coffee shop. Accent? Dude, Lotus is so cool, alright? I cannot wait for Lotus to be added to Crush Crush as a dateable girl. And dude, Raptor, did you see what you missed? Like, did you fucking see it, man? Or did you miss it? Like, literally, it happened, I don't know, two minutes before you, you sent the accent. How about Ani? No, it was by Eero, actually. Yeah, the surfing thing, you saw it? Oh, Raptor, goddamn. We hope you'll make us your daily stuff for your coffee. Buzz! Get it? <laughs> like a bee? <laughs> I saw it while playing Cuphead. Hell yeah, Raptor, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Distracted gaming. <laughs> Twitch won't do anything? Exactly! Because if we go over to here, right? If we go to here, if we go to here... Bro, she's literally a porn star. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I mean, after this ad, but like, I'm not even kidding you. Posture check. I'm out of soda, right? I cannot hush check anymore. Come on, can you show her already? Can you literally show her she's a fucking porn star? Even though she does it in her VTubing model, she's still a porn star. It doesn't make a difference. Like, literally. Alright, there we go. Porn star on Twitch. So Twitch doesn't care. <laughs> so, can I get you anything? Yes! Give me one large coffee, please. I don't drink coffee, okay? Here you are! Have a wonderful day! Motivation plus one! Raptor! Look at this! Motivation! And now I don't get to see Lotus anymore, alright? Raptor. So yeah, it's like so cute back to that. <laughs> I'm not going back to the porn store. <laughs> Alright, Raptor, do I go to the bakery to meet Bonnabelle? Or do I go to the mall to see Eli again? Which Eli is the brother of Eero. Who wears... Who cross-dresses, which... Look. Eli can do... You, you only do Bon Bon. Alright, we're gonna do Bonnabelle. Which is like, Eli can do whatever Eli wants, right? I'm not here to judge. Hey, Bon Bon. You approach what looks like bakery. The sign on the outside says Bon Bon Bakery, and the smell of cookies immediately begins to creep in from all sides. Inside, you can see people talking, at a, and a red-haired red woman is putting out a tray of freshly baked bread you can hardly resist. As you enter the bakery, the smell of freshly baked bread and cookies absolutely overtakes your, your stomach, growls, and your mouth waters as your body starts demanding tribute. Look! I don't have any money in the game anymore because I spent it all on the coffee. Looking over, you see two girls chatting by the counter. For a moment, you almost mistaken them for sister, given their similarities. That's right, we get to meet Elle here! Or Ellie. You walk in during the middle of the conversation. You know, I've never thought about why we bake cookies and cook bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. It must be a mistake though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like, the president of words? Bro, I love El Silva or Ellie. It's Ellie, that's right. Because, oh my god, Ellie, her personality is so fucking great, I love it. El, sweetie, that's not El. a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue burst of Beyonce I made. Bro, El is just, El is just the best, alright? Elle, Elle's the pink-haired girl. She's the one who, who's all like, uh, how do I put it? Like, loopy and whatnot. 
if that makes sense. And then Bon Bon's the redhead. That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. That's L. Alright, that's that was L. That's one of her lines. And L is just so great. They continue chatting happily, not really notice you. Maybe by, by the lack of purchases, the pink haired girl seems more like a friend than a customer. For a moment, you're just sort of caught up as an observer. The two girls extremely attractive and their uh, light hearted conversation makes your heart flutter a little bit. Finally, through sheer willpower, you clear your throat to grab their attention. <clears throat> hello, ladies. Oh, hello, a customer. How long have you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Cathy. Yeah, I'm chatty Cathy. Welcome to my bakery. My name is Bonnie Bell. You let me know if you see anything you like and I'll wrap some up for you. Well, I know what I like. The girl with the pink hair gives you a, a strange feeling when you look at her. Something tells you that you need to figure out a way to talk to her alone. Ooh. I'm looking for something sweet, pretty, with a nice box, and pink hair. Oh, um, I need cookies, like a hundred cookies. What about Bon Bon? Hey, we're gonna get- we're gonna talk to her too, alright? I thought I smelled something burning, just wanted to check everything was okay. I think we'll go to the top one because I think that's gonna give me bonus points, so fuck it. Oh, darling. <laughs> Bless your heart. That pickup line is downright spectacular, for how bad it is. Sounds like me. Oh, you shouldn't eat anything with hair on it. It's almost never there on purpose. You see what I mean about L? She just... <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I figured Raptor would probably agree with Bon Bon just because he's like, I can agree with Bon Bon and I cannot agree with CJ. But you, you see what I mean by, by about L? You could be talking about how pretty she is, and it just goes over her head. Or even through her head, and she doesn't register it. It's like the best shit ever. <laughs> you two are just the cutest. Hold on, I'll get some free samples. Maybe you can take another try at that order there, darling? Hell yeah! Let's do it, Raptor. Let's take another try at that order. The girl Shelly twirls her hair and smiles at you before blushing and turning her eyes away. God damn, L. Hey, I'm sort of new to town. Actually, I'm visiting for the summer. Hi, I'm super good at guessing names. Let me guess yours is Pinecone. She's faking the personality so that CJ would go after her. Bro, Mio is the best girl in Crush Crush, right? Next to Pamu. Alright? Next to, like, every other girl in the game because all of them are actually really good because... Oh my god, I'm not buying any of it. Bro, you just wait until we meet Mio in the game, alright? Because Mio is on the cover of the game, which means Mio is in the game. Which means I know that too because I played the demo and Mio is in the game. So it's easy zero deaths. Hey girl, your name must be Ariel because I think we're mermaid for each other. That last one is so bad that L would probably like literally just walk away and not even say a fucking word. And I'm being honest. I'm gonna go with the top one, because I'm not gonna call her Pineco. Because... I don't think anyone's name is gonna be Pineco. In, in this game, at least, alright? I'm not saying in the world. Ooh, a Discord notification, what is it? Is it gar garbage? Hell yeah, Raptor, it's garbage! Um, my name is Elle. It's nice to meet you. And also, I love Elle's voice because it's so good. I love the voice acting that this game has. The girl's cell phone starts to beep. Whoops! That's my alarm! I'm late for being early to my book club. Oh. Oh! Raptor, why'd you make her late? To being early, jeez! Wait, um, I'm told- I'm not normally this forward, but could I give you my phone number? Before you go, do me a small favor. I collect phone numbers and- But yours is especially nice. Wanna trade? 
yo, here's my number, girl. Ring me up sometime. <laughs> that sounds like something that would probably be said in the hood or something. Why is there multiple Discord? I don't care about Discord notification right now. But like, yo, here's my number, girl. Ring me up sometime. That sounds like something that would probably happen in the hood or something. So, uh, let's go with the top one. That's interesting. I'm always this forward. It makes it easier to walk without tripping over things. You know, that's actually not a, a like bad advice, actually. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry. I really am out of time. Thank you for your number. Maybe we'll chat another time. See you later. Easy, Raptor. You see how easy it is? Just go talk to Irolia, man. All right, sweeties. I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli, so you know they're good for you. All right, Raptor, I have a question. All right, that you know the answer to. If the food is shaped like another food, does that make it as healthy as that other food? Like, even, like let, let's say it's a cake, right? And then like, let's say the cake is shaped like a... A fish. Does that make the cake as healthy as the fish? Or is that... Bake? You don't think that's how it works? You know what, Raptor? This is hush hush. We define physics here. Alright? Oh, Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? Oh yeah, Raptor! You missed it. Eli was talking about penises, and then Eero said the word penises. I feel like penises is not the plural for penis. Like, seriously. So banned? Obviously. Why, why? Yeah, I feel like penai is like should be the plural for penis. Because slapping ES at the end doesn't really work, you know? Like, I just don't know. <laughs> Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart yourself, so I'll give you a hand. Any care what context that term would be used for? If you're talking about, like, multiple, you know, even though, uh... I don't know why. Unless you're comparing like all of them to to one, which you shouldn't really do anyway because everyone's unique in their own, you know, unique ways. So it is what it is. Here's a little tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. I'll give you a few for the road on the house. Bro, she's like here. Why don't you just go to her and steal her heart without having to do work at all? Easy games, your deaths. I win. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm gonna come at you with my wooden spoon. I don't want to know, but I'm curious. And by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs> I would like to know, you know, Raptor? Maybe we'll find out, but like, this first run of Hush Hush, I want to do the best I can to, to like, get the happy ending, or at least a happier ending, you know? Like, I'm sure I'm not gonna get like, the five star happy ending, you know, but hey, it is what it is. That's it. No. <gasps> Yo, Raptor, I know what happens if I go to the arcade. But also, I want to go to the beach, but also I want to go to the mall. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dude, this game is like deep. Like, I don't know if this if it's giving you these vibes, Raptor, but this game is giving me DDLC vibes right off the bat. Wait. Raptor, you know what this is? This is DDLC X Crush Crush slash blush blush.
Wait, wait, no, 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 Raptor, I know exactly what it is. It is DDLC X S D V X Crush Crush slash Blush Blush. Change my mind. Because there's a schedule. There's multiple events happening at the same time. Right? So that means... That means... This game is deep as fuck. Which means... I'm probably gonna cry on stream again, which sucks. Alright, Raptor, where... Where... I'm gonna go to, to the hints first because it's purple, and purple doesn't advance time in the game. But Raptor, after I, after I go to hints, do you want me to go to beach, arcade, or mall? Think about it. While looking through town, you pass by a set of shops you already checked in. But you notice something you don't recall seeing. A fortune teller's tent appeared to be set up in one of the alleyways. You see symbols and signs of mystical origin in a crystal wall. Raptor wants me to go to the beach, so you really want me to get the motorcycle check, huh? Who's really buff and all that. Well, nothing wrong with a buff check, you know? No, nothing wrong with it, you know, we can look hot. Uh, you also see a sign that says, back in 11 seconds. Just says you're trying to decide if the sign is a joke because time is too short to use to be use of any... Maybe I'll get my cream cheese there. If you get cream cheese at the beach... Then either you got it from a, a guy who has a stall by the beach... Or you got it from somewhere that I'm not going to question. Because the time is too short to be of any use. Someone taps you gently on the shoulder. Beg your pardon. Just sneaking by. You turn around and see a handsome, handsome man dressed in wizard's robe. He's holding a, a latte, I believe it's it. I thought latte was supposed to have the accent. So... Look, I don't remember, alright? I'm we'll drink coffee. And smiling sheepish, sheepishly, you, you, you're standing in his way. When you move, he cheers his coffee and and uh, and nods to you. So a latte, it can be spelled with or without the accent. Got it. Thanks, friend. Bro, Dorian. No, Dorian's a different character. This one is uh. Dimitri, if I recall correctly, from Blush Blush. The man spends a moment moving things around in his tent. Loose change goes here, a latte goes there. Then he sits, stretches his arms out, and gestures to the seat across from well, him. Then, have a seat. I'm sure you have questions. Are you for real? You're not really what I pictured when I thought of the words fortune teller. I'm gonna go, are you for real? Nah, fuck it. Well, I admit a certain amount of divergence from the stereotype. Oh no, stereotypes. Ah, oh, we get banned for stereotypes. Fuck. But it's a family business. If you'd like, I can call up my great aunt to take over. Nah, we'll be fine. She's a lot more into the crazy witch doctor look. You might be more comfortable. Um. There's a possibility that's a yes. But I think you're pretty cool, alright? In any case, I was expecting you. But I also was really jonesing for a latte. Hence the sign. Hmm. <laughs> My name is Will, by the way. But you can call me Mystic if you prefer. Is Will who the... Dimitri's the brother of Lotus, I'm an idiot! Damn it. Dream Manager Raptor, why didn't you remind, remind me? Dang it. Maybe you're testing my brain. I used to call this little business where there's a will, but it didn't really bring in the tourism dollars. <laughs> so I changed it to Mystic's Mystical Fortune Telling, and things are a lot more lucrative now. Yeah, easy. No one wants their palm read by Will. Everyone wants it read by a guy in a robe named Mystic. Rapper, do you want your palm read by a guy, a, a random guy named Will, who might be in a wizard's robe? Or do you want a guy named Mystic in a wizard's robe to read your palm? To be honest, I'd want Raptor to read my palm. But I digress. We should carry on. You're going to be given your first choice to leave now, so I want to make a good impression. 
you know, I never understood the word digress, and I probably will never do it because I'm too lazy to look it up. I don't get many chances to work with people on a quest. The one not named Will, I don't trust them. So you, you'd rather have the guy named Mystic. Fair enough. All right, Raptor, take a seat. Yeah, not for me, man. Sierra, so I'm going to take a seat. All right, because it's my first playthrough. I'm going to take some risks with the hints, even though I think the hints technically give me spoilers. But I, I want to be honest with a little bit. I need to check Crush Crush. All right, I can delete Crush Crush now. I'm not going to delete Crush Crush. What, what the fuck is this emote? Strip and blind. All right, Strip and you're you're crazy. I thought you might stay. I won't keep you in suspense. I promise. Bro. So I round up in Subrosa rather serendipitously. Unlike most of the locals here, I'm what you might call an outsider. Easy. My journey here was kickstarted by an act of generosity. I bet Raptor gave you the generosity. And when I arrived, I was commanded only be helpful. Now that was it, Raptor. You just told him to be helpful, and then wow. So now I do this. But can you do this? Oh! I peek behind the curtain. Look at the machines running underneath the world. Sorry, this guy's crazy. And I can tell you a few things that may lead you to the destination you seek. So you know who sent me? Less talky, more my. I want to know. Oh yes. Oh, you do know. Those two try to pull me into the game a few times, but luckily, I usually manage to distract them with a charming smile. Bro, this guy seems like that kind of guy, honestly. Like straight up, he seems like the kind of guy who would do that. Here's the point. The point. What, what's the point? You're trying to learn secrets, correct? Well, I can set you in the right direction. For a price, of course. For a reasonable fee. Cross your palm with silver. The other shoes... The other shoe drops. Wait. Raptor, as the as a big brain. What, are, what do these mean, Raptor? What, what, what do these mean? You have a big brain. I need I need you to tell me what these mean. Or should I just choose one or the other and move on with my life? I don't know. You know what, screw it, we're going to the top one. Actually, I take all major credit cards. He takes all major credit cards. Except American Express. Their service fees are atrocious. Yeah, I actually heard. Like, literally, I was at work one day and talked with the customer and he was talking to me about how the service fees are atrocious. The more I do it, the harder it is, and the more expensive it gets. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take that the non-weird way, alright? We're going to take it the non-weird way. Alright, just stick with me, and we'll, we'll get through it. And I'm holding a sale for the next 30 seconds. First reading is free. We're taking that because, you know, I hope you understood, Raptor. And I know you know no homo. What do you say? Would you like me to tell you your future? I'm sure. No thanks. I got enough crazy in my diet. Just playing Smash? Banned. A wise choice, my friend. Alright, let's just get into the right headspace. Mystic waves his hand around over the, uh, the, the crystal ball in dramatic fashion. He gets a thoughtful look, he grabs his, his uh, latte and takes a sip. Then he continues more dramatic waving. Just as you're, you're growing concerned that maybe Mystic may but might not be totally legit. Suddenly his crystal ball begins to glow and soon after his eyes do as well. He raises his hand and speaks in a deep uh, commanding t t tim timbre. Mio's first secret is no pain in the neck. She'll tell the first soul that's savvy in tech. <laughs> I'm so upset, but I'm not upset at the same time because of how funny this is. And I can understand why. I, I understand why that they put this in, in this game, in case you never played Crush Crush. 
you know, I, I'm I'm a true master at Crush Crush, so this game's gonna be zero deaths. Mystic suddenly goes limp, and Crystal Ball stops glowing. Mystic reaches towards you weakly, and his hands shuddering, but turns it towards his latte and picks it up. He takes a sip. And there you go. What the heck was that? So, do you give me a printout, or do you want me to write it down? Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Oh, I used to give out printouts, but you know, save a tree and all that. Oh, God dang it, Raptor. Why'd you make him one of these people? Dang it. So write them down or take a picture with your phone. But I'm using my phone to watch my own stream <laughs> without audio. Or if you have, like, wiki powers, you could probably use that too. Depends on how old this info is. I, d I don't want to use the wiki. Like, literally, I do not want to use the wiki and get all 31 achievements. I just want to use everything that's in the game to get all 31 achievements. That's that's going to be the challenge for me for this game. All right, good luck. I can only do that once a day, so don't bother trying to double dip. I am not making any jokes. Best of luck on your quest. I hope to see you again. Oh, you'll be seeing me again. Cheers. You leave the alley and continue down the street. I'm sure what to think. Of the mysterious fortune teller. Alright, oh, uh, Raptor said. Beach. There you go, Raptor, you're welcome. So, I come by the beach, you decide to take a walk on the sand and collect your thoughts. As you slow, slowly make your way uh, next to the ocean, the sun begins to dip and the sky becomes a bit tapestry of orange and pink fire. You hear goals in the distance brought, brought to you by a warm. Uh, wind at your back, the waves slosh and roll at your feet. The moment brings a stillness you haven't felt in some time. After a time you couldn't say how long, your mind has returned to the present moment and things you need to do. As you turn to leave, you spot a seashell by your toes. It's heart shaped as white as freshly fallen snow. Alright, thanks Raptor, thanks for the level 1 motivation, or the ne next level of my motivation. I'm now level 2 motivated. Easy! Thanks Raptor. You take it with you on the drive home, you swear you can see and hear the waves. No! 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 I didn't get to see any Euro at all? No. Alright, Raptor, where should I go? Zaya, I only have one button, I have home. So like, where should I go, Raptor? Where, where should I go? No, I'll go home. Mall? That sounds too hard. Yo, I could do, I could do flip burgers because I have a motivation level of two. <laughs> I'm going to need the money in the game, I know that. Today felt like two days. You're asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. I love I love when like that happens because last night I was like trying to go to sleep, but at the same time I'm like hush hush, and I'm like just shut up, just shut up about hush hush. Yeah, it doesn't even come out for like twelve hours or something. Just go to sleep. And I uh, I was like just stall, and it never happened. July 2 dawn. You had a strange dream last night where there were cats and rats and elephants. Hopefully none of it was symbiotic. Alright, if we see cats and rats and elephants, someone's going to get hurt. And it's not going to be me. Alright. Available at night. Good, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking of, of uh, avoiding these. But let me do, let me do... Which do I do? I'm gonna go, t uh, text end. Two levels in tech savvy? Yeah. So good at this game. Uh oh, Eli. 
Hey, is it Eli? Don't ask how I got your number. The my ways are mysterious and fraught with fabulousness. Okay, listen up, sweet cheeks. Here's the plan. Eura goes for a jog basically every morning. That's also when she's in her best mood. Unless you're joggy god, your bets is your your best bet is to meet her at park in the morning. She'll be on the tail end of her run, which will soften her up a little bit. Tomorrow morning, park dressed for sweaty success. Eura is likely to make you jog. You got all that? I'll be there. I'll see if I can make it. Shit. Alright, Raptor, real quick. Do I go after Eero first? Or do I take a risk and not go after Eero first? Let, let's go. I'll see if I can make it. Because who's Eero? Eero. Eero's this girl. You're a cutie. Don't believe what those other people say. I'm just kidding. They think you're cute too. This is Eero. Do it. After what's to be go after the biker girl who's buff and not the gamer girl. Uh -huh, that's the spirit. Mild enthusiasm is a sure way to win over my sister. You better put on some pep in that step if you want to succeed. Just saying, alright, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Bye. No, no, don't gamer girl. Okay, wait, wait. No for the gamer girl or yes for the gamer girl? Mystic. Greetings, Mystic here. Your friendly neighborhood psychic. Wondering how I got this number, well please see the previous message. Now that you and I are acquainted, I actually have a small offer to make. As you know, the services I offer come with a bit of a price tag. Looking in the future is thirsty work and spikes sykes gotta eat. Or I mean drink and drink the coffee. In any case, those costs those costly predictions are just juicy stuff. The stuff you know you you need to know to make all your your hopes and dreams come true. I do, however, offer a free service, a daily reading that should provide a proof of useful sort of a hint horoscope. You have to go to bed soon? I mean, I'm gonna have to go to bed soon too. Half an hour for me. A hintoscope. Oh, I like that. I wonder if I could trademark that. Anyway, if you're already, uh, let's say, familiar with how things work around here, these messages might feel a bit unnecessary, but if perhaps you're marked for a hint or two, I could be. Please to send you a freebie every day. What do you say? Yes. You got it. What do you got for me today, Mystic? And if you wish to unsubscribe at any time, just text me your credit card number for verification. <laughs> Sorry, that's a joke. I'm not great at texting. Cheers, I look forward to. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I look forward to. Best of luck out there. All right, what is my schedule right now? Oh shit. Contacts. Aw oh, shit, I can't even see it. Wait, gallery. There's 13 pages of gallery? Oh god, Raptor, we can see it again if we want to. <laughs> Raptor's probably like, Bro, play the game. All right, Raptor. After I go to the bakery and the cafe, are we going to the town? Which, by the way, I've never been to the town. Or we're we going to the beach again. So I gave him four hundred dollars, and he said he'd get it back to me by next week. Wow. Play this game until you get honey. I cannot confirm nor deny if honey's in the game. Because, as far as I know, Honey does not have any voice acted lines in Crush Crush, which probably means she hasn't been, like, given a, a voice actress yet. Which, which, here's the thing, I, I look forward to seeing Honey being added to the game with a voice actress. That'd be cool. Dimitri, that was very foolish. But save your story. We have a customer. I love the baka, by the way. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. Also, do not get annoyed with her saying hola, aloha, and wel and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House, because she says it every time, and it's so cool. What can I get for you today? Large coffee. Here you are. Have 
the great day. Yo, I get the better job tonight. Because I need tech savvy of three to do it. Easy. Easy. Thank you, Lotus. You are awesome. All right, we're going to the bakery. Hey, sugar. Nothing freshly baked today, I'm afraid. Talk. All the flour I got shipped yesterday turned out to be contaminated. National recall. Raptor, you had to do this to her. I think I might have a few sticks of beef jerky in the back if you're desperate, but for now, I'd encourage you to come back tomorrow. I think I know what she means. Take care, sugar. All right, Mon Mon. All right, are we going to the town or are we going to the, the beach? Town or beach? Town or beach? Town or beach? I've never been to the town, so I'm tempted to go to the town. Town. All right. Or beach. Town. Right? Or beach. I wonder what Raptor has to say. I'm, I'm really tempted to go to the town, but I'm sure Raptor probably won't want me to go to the beach again to see if we can see more bikini girls. And then waste the morning in this game if you like fuck. Fuck it, we're going to the town. Fuck it. As you walk through the streets of Subrosa, taking in the sights, you're pleasantly surprised by how charming everything is and everyone seems to be. All the shops are quaint and small businesses, the cafes and restaurants with their outdoor seating all look to have amazing food and everyone seems to be smiling. That's why when you come across a pretty girl sitting at the bus stop looks rather Monroe's and a pair of sunglasses she stands out. Yo, is this is this uh Oh this cannot this cannot be Mio. This, I don't think this can be Cassie. Quill? Is this Quill? Pulling her head out and leaning back as far as she can. Can't you can't help but approach to check on her. Hey, are you okay? Tied a few many Tied a few too many on what, what? Tied a few too many on him last night? Did you happen to catch the lights play of that bus that hit you? I'm gonna go with, hey, are you okay? Girl looks over and, and groans, but you see a smile pull at the corners of her mouth. Uh, I'm good. The sun is too bright. And I, I thought it was Quill. Oh, oh. Well, after this is the gamer girl, Mio. Alright. Hey, you look helpful. Help me. Hell yeah, I will. Girl reaches into her purse, pulls out her cell phone. She waves it in your general direction. Oh, wow. So I could get her number right off the bat without having to do anything. Can't get internet. Don't know what time the bus is coming. You're gonna go to bed? You're gonna go to bed when we get to Mio. You're, you're just like, I'm out. I cannot deal with the, the gamer girl hotness. All right, Raptor. Well, good night. I'll, I'll I'll be having fun with Mio, who has no internet, so she can't know what time it is. Fix it. Oh my god, she's fucking bluffing. I can't handle this. When you take the phone from her, you quickly you quickly ascertain that the phone is in fact turned off. You hold the power button and the phone lights up like that. Good night, Raptor. And you're not wrong. Neo isn't honey. There you go. Um, I don't think I really did anything. Yeah, so it looks like that did the trick. Have fun, Raptor. OMG, you're awesome. Yo, just by turning on a phone, I gained another level of tech savvy. This day has been full of tech savvy bullshit. Hell yeah. Hey, do you mind just sitting with me? Until bus comes. Bro, I love the way Mew is speaking right now until bus comes. She doesn't even know proper English anymore, that's great. About ghosts or something. She's bluffing again. <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> Did I just give it? <laughs> I was expecting that. Please. 
Sure. Actually, I have to actually go and okay, stay. Thanks. I'm staying with Mio. <laughs> because her uh, Pac Man, that, that was so good. <laughs> that just a bit nowhere. Waka, waka, waka. The girl probably falls asleep storing softly on the bench, and you have to wake her up when the bus finally does arrive. Cool, cool. Thank you. No, come back. I'm at Arcade. Check it out. She's bluffing again. I cannot handle anything. Okay, bye. My god, the voice acting is like top tier in this game. I love it. The girl gives you a little wave and then gets onto the bus. You catch her collapse on a seat as the bus pulls away. You make a mental note to check out the arcade at some point and move on with your day. Afternoon. Aw, shit. Let's go with Mystic. Greetings, Mystic here with your daily Hintoscope. You see those fancy skills you can upgrade? Here's a tip. You don't need to keep them equal, in fact, some of them prove more useful than others. Each tray has a 100% chance of being someone's favorite. But some skills are popular with nearly everyone. They probably suave. Keep in mind that you, though you should keep all your skills humming when you're aiming good ending. And that's all for today. Hey, Lotus. Hello, this is Lotus from Queen B Coffee House. Hello. Hola, aloha, and welcome. This friendly announcement. Perk your interest in QBCH is now offering our legendary summer specialty eggplant spice lattes. We hope to see you soon. Aloha. I've never heard of eggplant spice. Thanks, Lotus. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell her never spam this number again. She's so cool. You welcome, heart. Let's see my schedule. Nothing. Bakery. What's happening you at the bakery? So sweet for visiting me all the time, sugar. Oh. Here, I made you this cookie. It's got all manner of nonsense going on. Nuts, chia seeds, a small wedge of pineapple. I call them my lucky cookies. And Raptor missed pineapple and cookies to go to bed. Just wanted to show some love. As always, let me know if you see something you like. <laughs> Oh, I see someone like Mon Mon. <laughs> How much? I only have five money in the game. Oh, I'm poor in the game. No. All right, let's go to the mall this time. Right in the mall, you, you're somewhat taken aback by the sheer size. More than 300 stores on three floors. Sounds amazing, but a pain in the ass. <gasps> Alpha! Alpha is everywhere! And she's in her human form! Wait, so is this... Wait a minute. Is this post Crush Crush? Like, does Marshmallow not exist? No, I... No, main character has to be Marshmallow. Branding approximately alone takes more than 20 minutes and by the time you reach the front entrance, you're already noticeably hot and somewhat winded. Luckily, the distant chill of a powerful air conditioner greets, greets you as you enter. The smell of popcorn, fancy chocolates promise it, promises you things are better. You explore a bunch of the, the shops as you slowly make your way peeking into more than a dozen shops you offering you haps, hat, haps. hats called caps and that's by a suspicious number of cinnamon bun shops. Bun bun. Just as you're passing a store called the Chikmo Tiki, you hear a familiar voice. You who co come from across on the back store. Why look who it is, my cute little beach bum buddy. Me and why not? All right. I'm so glad you're here. I didn't get the chance to give you my and Eero's num nums while we were frolicking on the sands. Hand me your phone. I shall correct this grievous oversight immediately. I love Eli's fucking personality. It's so great. There, done. Now you can send Eero all the cute kitty memes your heart desires, and fill my inbox with all the dirty little texts your mind can conjure. No questions. Just be super careful not to mix those two up. Can you imagine sending me kitty memes? <laughs> I'm practically squeeing my face off just thinking about them. Oh boy. Now. Other than 
been another fantastically fateful meeting with yours truly. What brings you to the mall? Did you run out of gum while you were out kicking ass? Do you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? <laughs> Two words, food court, mixing and matching food. Foods from across the, the fast food rainbow, my guilty pleasure kings. Just looking around, uh, look at what I'm wearing. Obviously I'm here for help, my wardrobe is in desperate need of emergency. Let's go with that one, that sounds interesting. Yes! At long last! Destiny has called my name, and I shall answer! For what you need, you have come to the right place. You have come to Eli. This is gonna be easy. Alright, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. As you can see, you are standing in Cheek Boutique, where all your dreams come true. It also happens to be my throne of power. Easy. Here at Cheek Boutique, fashion is our passion ration. And I would love, love, love to make you my lovely little Autobot and help transform you. Well? I'm going to hand you clothes, you're going to take them to the dressing room, and you're going to put them on and start whispering tearful thank yous to your Eli. Wait. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks ready. This is going to be so great. Another bannable moment. Okay, chop, chop, chop. Fortune favors the bold, and judging by what you were wearing when you came in here, you're most definitely the bold type. Well... Oh, and don't look at the price tags. Those are merely suggestions, like pants and speed limits. <laughs> here you go, here you go, here you go. All right, you're set. See you shortly. This is gonna be fun. You walk over to the fancy changing room with easily two grand worth of designer clothes, including at least one pair of hatchless <laughs> chaps. What are those on a daily basis? For a moment, you feel utterly lost as, as, as there's no sign of directing where exactly to go or wait. You awkwardly try to see if anyone's already in the fitting room, but it's too difficult to tell. As you decide, as you decide to turn back and summon Eli for help, your foot catches the corner of a short bench, causing you to toss your arm to close and topple into the changing room. Say hello to Cassie, everyone. God damn, revealing a beautiful girl changing her clothes. Time feels like slows down as the two of you stare at each other. At a moment of surprise, every detail seems important. The sharp, the gold of her hair, the, the silly ears on her hat, and the soft white frills. <laughs> the moment feels almost, feels impossibly intimate. The, the softness of her body and the firmness of her clothes <laughs> are quite expression. <laughs> Of surprise, did you see fire ignite? <laughs> and Baka begins. What the hell, you perv? You're dead meat. Hell yeah, Cassie. A well-aimed high heel shoe clobbers you, and you drop to the floor, stunned. You see a flash of blonde hair dash past you before everything goes black. You awake sometime later to a concerned Eli. Wowzers, that's quite the bump on the old noggin. She got you good. Oh yeah, what happened? Where am I? I blank girl knocked me out. <laughs> and my, isn't that just a fun sentence to be able to say? Now you've got an interesting story to tell. Exactly. Lucky you! You have just had the pleasure of meeting one of Subrosa's more colorful residents. Her name is Cassie, and she is a firecracker thrown into a burning microwave. <laughs> That's one of my favorite analogies in this game, at least through the demo. She comes in here all the time, tries on all the clothes, usually stuffs the odd thing into her bag, but... Oh dear lord, did you see her nails? That girl is a wizard with the filing board! I... I forgot about that line. She sounds like a handful, yeah. She act actually sounds up my alley. Wait, did you say she's shopless? Hee <laughs> Of course, of course! I mean... They say not to dip into the crazy pool, but it's right there! And there's a diving board, and the board's breasts are magnificent! <laughs> I mean, I would call the police or confront her or something for the shoplifting, but in all honesty, I'm super lazy, and everything she takes looks so good on her. Wow. Would you like her number? I've got it here. I snooped through her phone once when she was trying on some lace panties. <laughs> Just 
a word to the wise. Don't cuddle that one. She's got daddy issues written all over her. Oh, yeah. Oh, and don't forget about Eero. I forgot I was trying to hook you up with her. Eero is so sweet and a tiger in bed, I imagine. Eli. Oh, my God. Whoops, look at the time. I need to take my two hour lunch. Thanks for dropping in again. See you soon. Bye. Hell yeah, for a two hour lunch, though. Hell, I have an hour lunch. That's not that bad. I love it. Evening. Aw, oh, shit. All right, what does Mystic want? Greetings, Mystic here with another Hipposcope. I know I said I would send one per day, but I got a great tip you should know about. So you're getting a bonus Hipposcope today. You might be wondering what you need for cash. I mean, besides for making it rain. Cash isn't as important as it may seem. Here are a few ways, and a couple of ways critical. First, if you need cash, to buy coffee every day, I'm not joking, at night or dawn, consider sacrificing a skill point to work a job to get coffee money. If you get enough for two coffees, that's uh, two stat points. Get in the, the habit, literally. As for the big stuff, there are a few points where a bunch of cash will be super useful. Either impress someone or get yourself out of a jam. I'll give you two more tips for the... For, I'll give you more tips for those soon, but for now, here's a little spoiler. One of your dates this week will take place at the mall you'll need. 160 for the date. Trust me, get the money, and it'll save you a, an awkward stench. That's all for today. Cheers. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Maybe there's a bunch of aliens taking over the mall, and they're meaning to speak to the most attractive Earthling, but I don't want to do it. They'll have to sell for number two, which is, which is you. Get over here right away. No, I'm just making this up because I'm bored. Please. All right, I need help, please. <laughs> so, you're the peeping Tom that tried to get a load of the goods. I know it was you. My friend Eli tattled on you, and now you're in big trouble for messing with me. If I ever catch you in the street, I'm putting my boot... <laughs> so don't check. You understand me? I'm blocking this number. Don't bother messing me. That sounds like the easiest way to lose the game. I want to get that achievement, by the way. It sounds funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa it's just misunderstanding. Oh, and what did I ex misunderstand exactly? The part where you broke into the changing room or the part where you're googling my delicates? Not like that, I wanted to ask you, I slipped, I promise. Girl, it was an accident, I, I crawled on the hot glass just to get the... Just to get you to kick me in, in the, the the junk you are fine. I'm gonna go with the, the first one I read. Are you kidding me? You're flirting with me? Why am I laying this, this tear down on you? You got some guts, I'll give you that. I'm gonna go cool down. Next time I text you, you decide whether I... Whether I can let, I'll decide whether you, I let you make up for this. Cow for now. Uh, we're going to the mall, and then we're probably going to go to the arcade. Aw, thanks for visiting me. I've been having a really downer day. Do you mind if I just bury my face in your chest for a little bit until everything feels better? No homo. Yeah, sure, I'm here for you. Yeah, no, I don't think that's good for the body. Thanks. <laughs> You lay snuggles and just breathe for a while. Thanks, Charmer. You're a lifesaver. I'm a marshmallow. No All right. Everything is so much better when you have a good-smelling person in your life who lets you borrow their hoodies and breathe in their cleavage. I'm not Potato Shan, all right? Thanks so much. I gotta get back to it. But you're one suave mofo. Bye-bye. Well, all right. I think we're gonna do the arcade. Finish the night in this, and start on July 3rd tomorrow. Well, July 3, but yeah. Pulling out the parking lot arcade is mixed with bags of experiences. Somehow you already hear children screaming in the mini golf course. Looks like a health hazard. It probably is. How have you noticed that sign that says, Frustrated A Pub. Fully licensed and you feel a little better when you walk inside. Also, I love the soundtrack of of the, the the arcade. It's pretty fucking good. As you walk in the arcade, your senses are immediately assaulted by the mess of sights, sounds, and smells. 
The blaring of arms of and flashing lights to hit first, but then an odd smell of old carpets and greasy food joins soon after. It's not so good. Making them the bar, you barely caught your bearings when you're surprised by the bartender who pops in your view. She smiles and waves at you first as you look at her. Hot stuff. Welcome to Rated A Arcade, where the beer and boobs aren't pixelated. Here are your complimentary quarters. Wow. This month is our hot coffee special. Free lattes with the purchase of 100 tokens. Because my boss thinks ancient memes are dank. <laughs> my name is Mio, and I'll be your server. And just like a great game server, I never go down. So don't ask. <laughs> what can I get you, sweetheart? Wow. I can get one Mio to go, please. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting the mana potion and whatever dialogue option lets me suck to you. <laughs> <laughs> really the hottest brother. <laughs> you ain't wrong about that. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, or B, A. <laughs> you dork. What, was my top supposed to fly off or something? That's not a cheat, you weeaboo. That's DLC. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a solid laugh. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that, actually. Let me go grab you a drink. Mm. I love this pose, by the way. It's so fucking good. Uh, Miro returns with various glasses and bottles and gives you a wink. And as she begins to pour your drink, her... Blank slips ever so slightly. Oh, you see? My social skills suck ass. Because obviously... This and this is what I'm being like. Hell yeah, but I don't want to. I'm gonna go with this, and I'll probably go one of those later. Keeping those crosshairs where I can see them, hey? Well, good for you. I hope there's an achievement for that. What? Resist the urge to admire Mio despite her best efforts to tempt you. But just in case it was too subtle, this bar has a certain atmosphere, and I enjoy it, so relax. At least I got out my first achievement for the game, right? It's awesome! So hey, you've got a face, and I've never seen it before. What's your story, mysterious stranger? What brings you to town? I'm here for a month on vacation. I heard this place had beautiful beaches and bartenders and bananas. Uh, um, well, uh, I had a vision of two magical goddesses and they were sent me on a quest to rescue five unsuspecting women on a mission from <laughs> But we'll go with the first one. <laughs> a sneaky compliment and alliteration? I mean, hell yeah, why not? Well, believe it or not, that's the smoothest thing anyone has said to me in months. So welcome to Sabrosa. Well, most of the NPCs around here hate tourist season, but I'm a fan. The regulars here are mostly good, but there's a few that, well, there's another meaning for the word regular, right? Yes. Anyway, it's just nice seeing new friendly faces around. And abs. Got any abs under that shirt? I'd love to meet them. I'm working on them. Uh... Uh, okay, now I wanted to ask you a bunch of questions and I want to have them answered immediately. Well, I've, we've got that in common. I look to a nice, friendly face. That's why I came to an arcade bar. Uh, let, yeah, let's go down because I got abs, or at least one big ab. That doesn't sound that good. <laughs> right? I mean, that's exactly why I'm working here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm all for the direct approach, love. What's on your mind? At least we're open about it, you know? How long have you worked here? What's it? What's the town like? Is it more Chobits or Kill a Kill? What's the best words to describe you? Single taken or single or take a walk loser? Basically ever since my bra filled in. It's just a summer gig though, for when tourist suckers like yourself are around. Mm -hmm. This isn't even my main job. I just like having access to unlimited tokens and tequila. I'm basically a god here. 
Well. He sent a soul in search of answers. And uh, the other option is, well, that should be enough evidence to incriminate the you for your cooperation. Hmm, it's pretty nice here. Though, we've gotten more cautious about shoplifters and ne'er-do-wells recently, I guess. Most of the businesses in town have, actually. Mm. There are a few streets and alleys downtown I probably wouldn't hang around when it's dark. Or brightly lit, for that matter. But that's just my keen, don't be a dumbass intuition. Mm. So I guess it's not the type of place that's going to burst into song randomly. But not that bad. Any more dialogue trees you want to explore? Hell yeah! <laughs> that sounds like one of those really deep, soul-searching questions everyone needs to ask themselves from time to time. But I think the best word that describes me is interested. Oh. Has anyone told you you've got a nice voice? You could make it into voice acting full show. <laughs> God damn it, Mio, you're so good. No problem, Detective Phelps, but if you're trying to figure out if I'm lying, I should remind you that my face is up here. <laughs> you're not wrong about that. So Random question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how busy would you say you were this week? Got plans already? Yeah, 10. I got a raid tonight. <laughs> Ouch! Rejected. Fuck. Well, that's awkward. Yep, that's a big bag of cringe. When you actually smash your mouse into the laptop and it clicks? Oh well, it is what it is. Well, Anyway, let me know if you want to hang out sometime. Oh, I do. Okay, I'm going to work now. Yes, that is a good segue from this conversation. See ya. Yes. July 2 night. Home. We are going to do... I'm going to do buff. Here is, is strangely quiet in the distance. You can hear waves and nothing more. Uh, you awake refreshed and ready to, to face the day. I am going to do the job real quick. We're going to make 55 money. July 3 morning. I'm saving the game here. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna leave this here because this was a lot of fun. And I need to go to bed. Holy shit, it's actually just now hitting 11 o'clock. This game is 10 out of 10. Like, I don't know what else to say about this game other than it's just that fucking good. Like, seriously, it really is. Like, I'm so glad that this game is a thing and it's just here. Like, really? Title screen. Yes, I saved the, the game. Alright, so so far we've met L, Yuro, Mio, and Cassie. We just need to meet uh, Quill. And I've, I've, I've met everyone. You know? And that's what matters. Either way. Apart from the first part of the stream, which was uh, just a straight up nightmare, but hey, it got solved and that's what matters. You know, that that was great. And I had a, I had a great time, but either way. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed, I hope you'll I'll see you in the next stream. Otherwise, I will see you whenever I, I guess we'll see each other again. Bye.